Please remove your hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, under the republic with which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. statement, inspiration, kindness, and respect are the founding principles of Quinn Bar Middle College. Our democratic learning community offers opportunities to build self-confidence and academic success through responsible choice making, personal wellness, critical thinking, and social civil responsibility. Approval of last week's minutes. Second. Second. Club and committee reports. Leadership committee. The chair recognizes Maria and Marilyn. So we haven't we haven't spoken on what we've been up to lately, so I just wanted to get you guys up what we've been doing. So we've been going through past motions from 2008, going and telling what's been figuring all the past motions. And then our most recent one, we got a he, the staff wanted us to go find what clubs and committees have, when clubs and committees were started. So we've been going through that and just, yeah, we're, we don't, we're going to try to figure out what else to do now. So, yeah. Student Government Democratic uh, Nadia. The uh, chair recognizes Nadia, Matt, Caitlin, and Icarus. Hello, everyone. This is Dia with an update from the Student Government Committee. Student Government is a group that was started by three students on September 29, 2022, who met with the principal in an attempt to take a more proactive approach to improving the school, its democratic procedures in particular. Currently, we're developing a mission statement and application process. After this has been completed, we plan to reintroduce the group. Thanks. Travel Club, the chair recognizes Carolyn. Good morning. Um, a few weeks ago, we had a guest speaker coming to our club to talk about a recent trip to Europe. And I wanted to thank Jack for coming in, doing a really great presentation, and showing us some slides from his trip a few years ago. Thank you. <coughs> Educational presentations, there are none. Old business, there is none. 
new business, clubs and committees, for active existing clubs and committees to provide a written description, written digital, of what their group is about, similar to enrichment offering groups. Dia. The chair recognizes Dia. Jen. Uh, Dia, I might be able to help you out and what we'll do, because um, yearbook's going to be taking down descriptions of the clubs and committees anyway for that portion of the yearbook, is that we can just publish it on the whole school classroom once we get the reports from the clubs and committees. Um, and we'll specifically tailor it to um, what your requests are, which is very easy to do. So um, I'm going to motion to dismiss this uh, motion because well, your book will take care of it, if that's okay with you. Motion is dismissed. Service learning. To create a service learning on technology research for QMC service learning will be taught by Chelsea in room 0004. The chair recognizes Chelsea. Hey guys, um, so as you guys know, as library media specialist, part of my job is to research immersive technology for the classroom, including things like gamification, which is games that teach things, and different types of technologies that are fun. So that could include applying for grants for 3D printers for the school and other technology related things. So I was hoping to start the service learning for help from you guys, since you are aware of what current technologies are out there. We can help research for the school ways we can better immerse technology into our kids. Um, so that's it. Second. This motion is now open for discussion. The chair recognizes Morgana. So is this going to be like when a new club is open where it's temporarily you can switch over? Because for service learnings and clubs, you can only switch once. The chair recognizes Chelsea. That is correct. The chair recognizes DeMarcus. Jen. 
I just want to say that I'm uh, in favor of this motion, obviously not joining the surface learning, but um, I think it's great um, our, you know, due to the pandemic and resources being shifted to get, getting everyone Chromebooks and everything, a lot of our standing technology is outdated at this point and to get student input from that is really awesome, so, yeah. Since there's no further discussion, we can move to vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. Clear. We legally have to track that to make sure kids are safe, leaving and returning to campus. Second, it is more developmentally appropriate to have freshmen and sophomore together allows for us to put more of our effort for security in the first wave versus the second wave. Yes, the seating is being improved. So Don's desk will be moved. Don will be relocated to another office space that will expand the atrium for additional seating. In addition to that, there'll be additional seating added to the lower level. When weather permits, students can eat outside. There'll be benches and there'll be a canopy outside for people to eat and not be sunburned outside. So weather is improving. Thankfully, La Nina, we had 56 degree temperature yesterday. It will drop down again, but it has been improving in weather. So motion to dismiss, thank you. Motion has been dismissed. Citizen showcase. This is open for voting. Wait, point of clarification? Yes. Can I just, I don't need a mic. Uh, mic. Okay. Um, I'm asking because, again, I'm learning all my Robert's Rules of Order as we go as well, like, like a lot of other people. As an administrator who needs to make those administrative decisions, for the safety of the building, etc. That's my question. Do we still does that still mean that we like vote whether or not this is dismissed, or does, do we just dismiss because the administrator has to make certain decisions for the safety and well-being of our school, regardless of whether we like it or not? So that's my question. Does anyone have an answer to that? Chair recognizes Chelsea. If it is a safety concern, there is no voting on that, um, so it would not need to be voted on if it's something that overrides uh, safety for the school. <laughs> Thank you. The chair recognized Morgana. I would like to accept the dismissal. Awesome. Motion has been dismissed. Citizen showcase. The chair recognizes David. Thank you, thank you. So I just want to recognize all the scholars that contributed to providing testimony to the State Office of the Department of Education for appropriations. And so that uh, was driven to increase magnet funding. And so we have actually not increased magnet funding in the last six years which then impacts transportation, impacts extracurricular activities, impacts many things in our school. So students um, took it upon themselves, volunteered, and wrote testimony, and presented that um, in front of the Appropriations Committee, which was broadcasted and played on several news stations. So it took a lot of bravery, it took a lot of courage for them in general to come up to the podium and speak on behalf of you, the student body, as well as the school. So again, they're speaking on behalf of you, the student body, and the school. So many thanks to those that participated. Next week, we will have representatives coming 
um, that will be part of a discussion panel about QMC in the middle college and improving funding. All right, so we're going to play a short video. Please pay attention. Thank you. supported the National Art Society tie-dye night. It was a huge success and lots of fun was had by all QMC National Art Honor Society members. Pajamas, hoodies, and sunglasses aren't allowed to be worn 